Silver here. We'll call this uh, video 100 subscriber account celebration part two, I guess. Well, anyway, I got uh, the, the reason why I say that is there was a few things I wanted to be able to do that I couldn't do at the time. And uh, one of the things is, you see, I've got this uh, slap from Liberty Bleeds here. I need that thing to focus. And uh, so now that I have it, you know, most people put these up on their walls and what stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and put him right here on the wall. And then I also got uh, this one back in the day from Stack That Gold. And I'm going to go ahead and put him up here as well. And then, I don't know, just for fun, I figured I'd take this... Uh, Hero bullion one and go ahead and put her up. And then I have another nice uh, stack that gold one here. That one there. And we need this one here. So it can be seen a little bit better. Oh, and then um, just in case, I mean, you know, I'm sure everybody's seen the big uh, I do with Trump. Thankfully he survived, but I remember uh, voting for this man here. We'll put him uh, right there. Let's we'll see if we can get it to focus. There we go. So, pretty cool. But anyway, one of the things I wanted to kind of talk about today and show off is I have no dishes. This one don't want to focus too damn much. There we go. Forget how many ounces that's supposed to be, but a fair bit I reckon I get. Uh, it's probably about 10 ounces at least. And I have smaller ones. I hate to be doing these one at a time, but I don't want these mucking up my background. So. All have to be uh, what you might call it. The borax put on them to kind of season them, I guess. Seal them up. And I got these ridiculous uh, carbon rods. Uh, this one chunky ass rod. So. So that's that. I don't know when I might get to pouring videos, but hopefully that'll be coming up soon-ish. And then I got this blue painter here. Uh, this is from, let me see, Stack That Gold. Or at least this uh, is. So he had a, a little, uh, you know, he's trying to trade in uh, silver for gold. He had a little sale on his channel. These are some of my pickups from him. Can't wait to see it. Let's take a look here. It's just crazy. Okay. That's surprising. <laughs> oh, what is this one? Oh, a night dollar. I love these. These are wonderful. That's 
it's in very nice condition too. That's uh, actually the best Ike dollar I have now. 1971. So I'm gonna take a better than this one here. See if I can get the out of focus here. Pretty cool, huh? Yep, I do like that quite a bit. That is pretty cool. Absolutely love this dog. This, I don't know. He's got to like have some kind of inside uh, thing on me because the first time I bought something, he, he sent me a Franklin, which I absolutely got. Got about the Franklins, and this is the other one I like too. And uh, this is the best condition one I, I have. So that's pretty cool. Excuse man, we haven't got to the main thing yet. Let's take a look. All right. Sent me a dime bag. All right. <laughs> That's right. You heard it here, folks. I bought a dime bag from uh, Stack That Gold off his live stream on the YouTube. I have no idea how to get these things out. There we go. How do you not get that? Uh, oh, that's a very nice one, actually. At least with the glasses I have on now, <laughs> so I don't know. That's always really good stuff that uh, we get from him. Nice. It's got some wonderful, this one has some wonderful uh, face detail left. Focus. Try and figure out focus issues, I guess. It's wonderful. Oh, the toning on this one is phenomenal. Look, maybe. I'll, uh, I'll add in some shots of these at the end of the video. And then, let's see. Oh yeah, that Walking Liberty. This is got to be one of the better ones in my collection now. I, when I first bought them, I, I thought, well, these things are so old, you probably won't find any in really good shape. So I uh, I bought some slicked out ones that weren't worth shit. And uh, I've since gotten rid of them, but I've been on the lookout for good ones. And this is very nice. It's got good detail left. throw this uh, on the bigger one soon. It's pretty sweet. All right. And then, of course, he had a nice uh, piece down there. It's nicely toned. This is, yeah, geez. Yeah, this is what that is. It's not, um, it's a peace dollar, um, whatchamacallit coin from 1986. So that's very nice. I was looking at it like, wow, that's in really great condition. And then I saw the data game. Oh, that's right, that's right. And then this is one that, um, this, this is a first. I've had a lot of firsts with stacked and gold. And that is um, this Ingle hardware. I imagine, probably find out what year it was made, but uh, so yeah, I've, I've never had an Ingle hard bar before, and that's, uh, you know, everybody goes gaga for those crazy vintage bars. Oh, and then there's this one. 
an A mark chunker, I think is what he called them. And that's beautifully toned. So that'll go nicely with the stack. This, I have no idea. That is pretty cool. It's got to be gold. It has that look. I don't have any gold here, but huh? And that wonderful uh, white dollar here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Huh. So yeah, lots of uh, exciting things coming up here. Got other reviews that are coming. I uh, definitely wanted to go ahead and, and get this kind of background going here to show off my uh, stickers I've got from people. So, this pro up here, you gotta stack that gold and Liberty Bleed Silver, something from Hero Bullion. I thought just for cheesiness, it'd be fun to put that on. Just like that. So. I think that works out quite well. So now, basically, I'm uh, I'm just gonna do a, a talk over here of, of the uh, pictures of some of these. But uh, I finally got everything pretty well set up. So I'm gonna be making videos uh, more often. Uh, I got some interesting reviews coming up, stuff like that. So, anyways, uh, yeah. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.